Stan Jabalisco here. In 2012, I believe it is, scientists discovered a particle that they had long been searching for that had existed in theory, but they'd never actually found one. It was called the Higgs boson. You can look that up on Wikipedia, Wikipedia, and get uh, a pretty detailed description of what it's about. It's a little over my head, beyond my pay grade. Trite scan is going crazy. But uh, this particular particle seems to unify all of the astrophysical theories that they have about the origin and evolution of the universe. How the galaxies, quasars, and everything we know could have exploded out of a single singularity in space. A single singularity, a point, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, they called this, some people called this, the God Particle. And usually in quotes, the God Particle. And several books were written about the God Particle. Some physicists thought that was pretty cool. Some thought it was pretty uncool, very uncool, and didn't like it at all. Thought it was sensationalism. From my point of view, I think it's ridiculous from the standpoint of a physicist and a literal taking of the Lord's name in vain from a religious standpoint. Um, I, as you may know, am a believer in Jesus Christ, the righteous Son of Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. And Almighty God, having created heaven and earth, presumably then would be responsible for this particle. Some kind of some kind of uh, extrapolation of the mind that would sell books. Well, if you look at the sales rankings on Amazon.com of those books today, they're not particularly high, they're not particularly remarkable, but uh, there are books with that title or about that subject. The God Particle, the Higgs boson, the one particle that unifies everything, supposedly. That's my understanding of it. Now, when I was in high school and college, I had a theory uh, of the universe. I was interested in cosmology, and I imagined space as being warped in four dimensions with respect to three, warped in five dimensions with respect to four, warped in n dimensions with respect to n minus one dimensions, and all the way onward, upward, without end until finally the ultimate reality was that the whole universe of universes, cosmos of cosmoses, was contained in a single point having an infinite dimensional quality, that is, unlimited dimensions, zero volume. So we would all be in the same place at the same time Subspace communications would be possible. I believe that was the topic of my video, asking you if you thought subspace communications was possible. Well, it sure would be if we were all in the same place at the same time in a single geometric point, having infinitely many dimensions. We could surely call that the God particle. But I, if I were to do that, first of all, I don't even know that such a thing exists. It's just a theory, a, a brainstorm of my demented, even at that age, demented mind, you might say. Taking of the Lord's name in vain, physicists would think it was ludicrous. Mathematicians might have some interest until they realized that in effect what I was doing was trying to find out the value of one divided by zero. 
which by the way I did try a long time to d define 1 over 0. I remember in seventh grade my teacher emphatically saying division by zero is not defined and I set out to define it just to spite her. Well, I don't think I ever spited her and I don't think I ever really got a satisfactory de uh, definition of that, but it seems that that would have something to do with a single point in an infinite number of dimensions. All of these brainstorms which if I were to call the God particle, would make me guilty of use of the Lord's name in vain. So with that, on a day in which you can obviously tell my mind is way out there and somewhere and on the outfield, maybe beyond the fence, maybe beyond the bleachers, maybe beyond everything, I will say so long for now.